One of the things that I did when I was doing marital counseling for my clients was if they were dissatisfied with their, with their spouse, let's say, said, well, what do you fantasize about in relationship to a new relationship, right? What, what fantasies spontaneously enter the theater of your imagination? And I would say, well, why is it impossible for you to seek that within the confines of this relationship, you know? It might be, well, she's not like that, or he's not like that, or she would never do that, or he would never act that way. It's like, well, people are pretty damn strange, and there's a lot of mystery in them. And if, if you're a dancer, you can get a lot of possibility out of people where you thought there was only a stultified actuality. Most fun thing about Bill C-63. <laughs> I had to reread this section like three times before I could believe it was true. So my understanding is that I can go to a provincial magistrate and I can say that I have, I fear that someone I know may commit a hate crime, let's say this year. Not even that the threat is real, but that I'm afraid that it might be real. Right. And that magistrate can act on that yep. by, well, the, the penalty laid out in the bill, as far as I can tell, was, well, if you're the person who is eliciting the fear, then you get to have an ankle bracelet on for a year, and you can be essentially confined to your house, and the court can determine who you can talk to and who you can't talk to, and they can also require you to have your bodily fluids monitored. They can put restrictions on your right to consume alcohol, anything that would, in principle, heighten the probability that you might commit the hate speech. One of the things I noticed as a therapist and as an interviewer, you know, if my clinical session got boring, it was because I wasn't paying enough attention. I was substituting my presumption for the person. And this was even true for so-called simple, there's no simple people, but I had lots of clients who were, they weren't intellectually gifted, put it that way, you know, they were people who would have been struggling, you know, often they didn't have a high school education. Some of them weren't even literate. But if you got them out of the box that maybe you wanted to put them in, they were just as unbearably interesting as anyone else. The resentment emerges in part because the theories fail. And part of the reason I think that the left hemisphere, so to speak, is antithetical towards the right is the right tends to announce the failure of the left with negative emotion. And so that's that's very troublesome because who wants that? You can certainly understand why the resistance develops. No, it's evidence of failure. It's evidence of failure that invalidates your theory. Have you considered these 10 rules? I have thought about them to some degree, and I lecture about them as well. Do you think they're pretty good? They're rock solid. I get that. That's funny. That's good. My pleasure. Well, I mean, I guess not. This is more like granite. Or st styrofoam. <laughs>